This is stupid. What do you mean, Bob? I mean, it's stupid. This whole show is dumb. Well, Bob, I think you need the spirit of God within you. And here's a story about just that. Well, okay, Larry, if you're... Eh? Do I in the narrator? Grandpa, Grandpa George, George? What are you doing here? Eh? I figured that if, if you all gave me the go-ahead, I'd be good to go. Huh? We're not in charge of who narrates the stories. We just tell them. Eh? Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell the story. But don't tell British Noodle. Don't tell British Noodle what? Eh? Hey, God. I'm not God. I'm a metaphor. Oh, sorry, God. I'm not God. He's not God, Larry. Sorry. I am narrating this story, thank you very much. No, I'm narrating it. I'm narrating it. I'm narrating it. <laughs> uh, listen, guys. I think we need to switch gears. You don't even know what the story was going to be about. No, but I want to narrate it. I can narrate anything. I can narrate Bible stories. I can narrate Mississippi stories. Eh, maybe Christmas stories. That's about it. I can, uh, narrate anything with my British voice. Yes, with powerful, powerful British uh, Bob, voice. Bob, what I... was the story going to be about? <laughs> that doesn't matter now, Larry. We're switching gears to a show on narration. Narration? Narration. Uh, kids, watch the drama unfold in the all-new, happening now, Narration Wars. Roll film. Uh, Bob, what film? <laughs> uh, okay, Bob. Um, if we're not going to do a real show today, I'm going to go back to your house and prepare our next Cubo broadcast. Our what? Our Cubo broadcast. I can't wait for it to get interrupted by the National Emergency Alarm System. What do you mean? Well, every week on Cubo, they had to do a national test. So I'm trying to plan out the perfect episode so the test will air at the perfect time. Right. Okay, Larry. You go do that. Um... In fact, I'm going to come with you. Uh, no, Bob. What do you mean? I haven't been to my house in a few weeks. I was on vacation, and I do appreciate you watching my house. I need to get back now. Uh, Bob, no, you really don't. Um, at least give me a little bit of time. Well, Larry, you knew the day I was coming back. Is it messy? I won't be mad. I'll tell you what. As your friend, I'll help you clean it up. Uh, no, Bob. No, no, no. I really don't want you to go there yet. Please just wait. Larry, what's going on? Uh, nothing. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go to my house. Wait, Bob! No! Uh-oh, the music's playing! That means he's on the way! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> you can't catch me now! No! Wait! Stop! Ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Woohoo! No! Please don't open that door! I'm almost there! Stop! No! Here I am, opening the door! What will I find? Please, go back! Don't do it! No! What is this? Oh, Bob! All these posters! These albums! These cardboard cutouts! These body pillows! Who is this? Oh, Bob, it's Luntar Swift! Who? Luntar Swift! Only the poppiest, boppiest veggie in town! What do you mean? Luntar Swift! Look her up! Luntar Swift. Oh, I know who this is! Larry? Yeah, Bob? You're, a uh, Swifty? Um... Yes, Bob. I am. I'm also a brony. And a furry. Yeah, Larry! You gotta get out of here! What do you mean? Officer Scooter's gonna take you down if he finds out. He is... Uh, he, uh, 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 speak up, Bob! Bob! Officer Scooter hates Swifties. Oh, no! He also hates furries and bronies. Larry, you're a triple combo. He'll throw you in jail. And we'll have the ultimate incarcerated song countdown. Oh, no, Bob! You gotta help me! You gotta hide me! Uh, well, uh, come in. Hey, it's my house. I should be saying that. Oh, sorry. Come in. I did. I see. And who are you? You remember me. I'm Mr. Nezzer. I've been working with you guys for 30 years. Oh, sorry, Mr. Nezzer. <laughs> hey, Mr. Nezzer. What's going on? Oh, uh, I just wanted to invite you all to a special cruise. A what? A who? A when? A how? A cruise! A special cruise on Nether Cruise Lines! Nether Cruise Lines? Uh, could you explain? Yeah, I need more information than that. Well, you see, I'm hosting a cruise, and I'm getting together a crew to go on this cruise with me. When I got my cruise assembled, I can go on the cruise! <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, so you're inviting us for what cost? No cost. It's a free cruise. I don't know about this, Mr. Nezzer. A free cruise? Out of generosity? <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm feeling fine. Oh, well, in that case, 
We accept. Bob, what? It's a great opportunity, Larry, to get out and do something different. A cruise. Get your mind off of this Luntar Swift. Uh, I guess it would be nice to spend some quality time with my old buddy Bob. Uh, well, yeah, a quality time can certainly happen, but, uh, I've invited a lot of people. How many's a lot? Uh... I can't believe that we're on this cruise, Larry. Bob, you were so excited before we got out here. I thought it was just me and you and Nezzer. I didn't know he was inviting the entire town. I mean, look, he invited the Fib. Who invites the Fib? I don't know. I guess he wanted a big crew. Why would he care about having a big crew? Why are there so many veggies on this ship? I don't get it. Fancy seeing you here. Ah, uh, George, what are you doing here? I heard there was a cruise going on, so I thought I'd join the cruise to escape the narration wars. Eh? I'm a more of a peaceful guy. I don't want war if I can oh, help Oh, you don't want war, do you? Then you shouldn't have the brother Brock to the... Eh? Party. You're on the cruise, too? Of course I am. Eh? Oh, bother. Why did you sound British for a moment there? Eh, I don't know. Maybe you're just a bad influence on me. Now why don't you go dump your tea in the harbor and leave me alone? <gasps> that is a racial stereotype. Eh? Well, sue me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Larry, maybe we should, uh... Larry? Larry! Larry! Larry I thought, uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry, Bob. I had my AirPods in. I was listening to Luntar Swift. Hey, what are you doing with my AirPod? Give it back! Give it back! No! Why would you throw that in the water, Bob? I'm trying to help you, Larry. This obsession's gone too far. Hello? <gasps> Bob? Yeah, Larry? Is that Luntar Swift? On the ship? Luntar Swift? Uh, Larry, that's Mr. Lunt, our friend and close companion for the past 30 years. Hey, Larry. Hey, Bob. How's it going? Hey, guys. Uh, hi, Mr. Lunt. Larry, calm down. I'm sorry. Mr. Lunt, I thought you were someone else. Oh, Luntar Swift? Yeah, Luntar Swift. Oh, no, no way. See, I'm, I'm just as much Luntar Swift as you are Larry, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. You'll crack me up. Oh, hey, hey. Eh, I'm gonna go below deck. Goodbye. That was weird. Yeah. Eh, he gets like that sometimes. Now, yeah, y'all wanna come play pool with me? There's a pool? No, Bob, pool. Like, you know, the game on the deck? If you win, he has the ping pong, you'll get some ho-hos and some ding-dongs. I thought we were playing pool, not ping pong. Yeah, but, uh, well, chances are once we start trying to play pool, Paul Graves gonna rope us into a game of ping pong. He always does. Right, of course he does. We really better get out of here before Paul Gray comes up and- Hey! Who's that for a game of ping pong? Ah! Huh. Was well, it something I said? Oi! Maybe they're thinking about the back barnacles. Oi! Fucking the bolts. <laughs> he got away from Paul. Whew. I hope he never asks us to play ping pong again. Yeah, I don't want to win yet for ping pong. But I would like a ho-ho in the ding dong. Mm. Yummy. Uh-huh. So yummy! Yeah, right. Um, anyway. Ah, uh, Bob! Look over there! Hey, is that Archibald? I, I think it is. Archibald, are you okay? You look kind of scared. Oh, heavens. Oh, goodness. Um, I'm facing somewhat of a dilemma. What's that, Archibald? Oh, Bob, Larry, Jimmy, the narration wars between George and the British Snoodle. It's gotten out of hand. I just know there's going to be a battle. I just know there's going to be a war. I mean, it's been a battle for a while, and what battle doesn't turn into a war? Do you follow me? Uh, yeah. Oh, Bob, Larry, I've been a narrator too. I don't want to be roped into the narration wars. Boy, wait a minute. Open the narrator as well! Ah, don't ask us to play ping pong! Why? I'm not going to ask you to play ping pong. I was just going to say that I've narrated shows before. I don't want to get roped in on this. I don't want to pick sides. Why? Fucking the bolts. Oh, great. I've narrated too. I told a snoodle's tale twice. Uh-oh, you snoodled twice. That's a crime. Yeah. I don't want to get roped into the war. I don't want to get drafted. Oh, Bob, calm down. It's gonna be okay. Narration, schmaration. What are they gonna do? Fight it out with pies? Pie wars are not a laughing matter, Larry. Uh, sorry, Bob. You're offensive. Sorry, Bob. Attention, little people. I have an announcement. 
As your new captain, I must admit to you that there's somewhat of an agenda for assembling such a large crew. I heard rumors about that. Oh, rumor weed! Long time no see, girl. How you doing? Have you heard the one about Alfred? Yeah, I've heard the one about Alfred. He's scared about being drafted into a narration war. Oh, heavens! Everyone's heard the one about Alfred, rumor weed. Let it go! But good to see you, girl. It's been a while. How's the plants? The plants are doing well. How are the uh, husband, wife, kids? I don't know. Everyone's doing good. Thanks for asking, Alfred. Sorry about the whole rumor thing. Oh, don't worry about it. And sorry that we all turned your head into a flower. I'm glad the florist was able to help you. And good to see you. I love you, buddy. Uh -huh. If you all are done blabbering, I want to get back to my announcement. I am Captain Ole Ravioli. Ah, uh, Mr. Nezer, why are you wearing your Olaf outfit from the hit 2001 sitcom Lyle the Kindly Viking? Yeah, that's a great question, Bob. Isn't it, Dad? Me and you are always in sync. I love you, Dad Asparagus. <laughs> Junior, I love your dad and all. Stop, stop, stop! Stay on track! We can't have all this nonsense talking. It distracts from what I'm trying to say. And what I'm trying to say is that me, as your new captain, Ole Ravioli, has an agenda. Have an agenda. I do be having an agenda. Um, can I ask what that agenda is? Oh, oh, oh! Are you going to get us all tickets to the, uh, Lantar Swift concert? Let go of the whole Lantar Swift thing, Larry. It's getting old. You are my cookie enemy. I'm your cookie enemy. Stop, stop, stop. Listen, my agenda is not entirely selfish. Global warming is real. Before we know it, our entire world's gonna melt. This is a continental drift, and I'm gonna save you all. I'm moving this entire town to a remote island. A remote island that knows no global warming. A remote island that'll be safe from the impacts of the sun. Bon appetit. Mr. Nezer, have you gone mad? Yeah, Mr. Nezer, what are you on about? Uh... Let's just put it this way. Uh, Bob? Yeah, Larry? I'm getting kind of scared. Me too, buddy. Who you are on the boat, you're adrift, you're afloat, some might even say you're stuck. Well, I don't want to boast, but I would not like to note that you're in luck. And so for the veggies, I rule some waters. So forget about you have some daughters. First man, introduce me to them, please. Aye, aye, Captain Ravioli. He's a big and scary. I like it, but hairy. Feel and twirling. Yes, yes and retiring. Looting, stealing. Banana peeling. Undisputed master of the sea. Oh, jeez. That's me. Is he? That's me. Is he? Okay, okay. I'm a veggie pirate pioneer, and these are my brave buccaneers, all of whom were once lost souls like you. It's true! He's whisked us! He saved our bugs! For that we owe our thanks and guts! Assuming global warming doesn't kill us, you no will owe me too! Here we are on the ship, moving at quite a clip through the ever shifting eyes. Come along on a trip! That's a hint! That's a tip! That's good advice! That's a picture! In the world that's going under, the survivor must learn to plunder. Luckily, that's my field of expertise. He's the best! He's a robin team! I think we should be leaving! Don't throw it! We really must be going! Veggie stay! I wish we could be staying! Undisputed, uncontested, monkey suited, yeah, you guessed it, Master of the Seas! That's me! Is That's me! Is he? Is he? Is who? Is you? You're just testing, I do. I'm the master of the seas. <laughs> yeah. Bob, I told you this cruise was a bad idea. Nezu's gone mad. Larry, global warming's very real. I, I, I but yeah, but I, still. What do you mean, still? He's taking us to a remote island in the middle of nowhere to start his own colony. Bob, this is really bad. Uh, we gotta get off this ship, Larry. Archibald, Jimmy, row way ahead of you! Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Are we the only sane four here? Clearly, he's convinced everyone else he's doing them a favor. But Veggie Town is just fine. We're not gonna burn up thanks to the sun. Yeah, Sonny's a good guy. Sonny wouldn't burn us up like that. We gotta do something. Well, let's see if we can gather a crew of our own. Rumor weed? Oh, I'm so happy he's gonna keep me from burning. My leaves are very sensitive. <laughs> Mr. Lund? Oh, Mr. Nether's the boss! Uh, I mean, <laughs> Captain Ole Ravioli! Jerry, I love Mr. Nether. He's hot. Oh, no. Everybody's on his side. Look at this. He's got the whole ship praising him, worshipping him, building a golden statue of him. That's not biblical. Well, technically it is. It happened in the Bible. But it wasn't supposed to happen. You've been reading your Bible, haven't you, Larry? I have. Character development. I'm proud of you. 
Thanks, Bob. But I'm an atheist now. Bob, I have to teach you. It's my turn now. Character development, indeed. This sure is a continental drift. More like a continental swift. Huh? Continental swift. You know, Taylor Swift. Luntar Swift. That's what I meant. <laughs> what was that? Ah, that didn't sound good. Shots have been fired. Grandpa George, you electrocuted me. Eh? If you're dead and electrocuted, you can't be the narrator. So it is a war that you want. Well, if it's war you want, George, it's war you'll get. I declare the narration wars starting right now. G -g guys, guys, not on the ship. D George, British snoodle guy, please, listen. We're being taken to an island far away because Mr. Nezzer's lost his mind. We have to focus on the task at hand. We have to find a way to get off the ship. We can't worry about a silly war. Eh, weren't you a narrator once, Bob? I believe he was. <laughs> uh, no, you're, you're quite mistaken. In fact, I... Oh, Bob, you can't put it past me. I was in the episode you narrated. A Snoodle's Tale. I made you that way. I made you a narrator. You have to pick sides with me, Bob. But I, uh... George is my friend. Well, sometimes war tears friends apart. It's for the greater good, Bob. Choose my side. I... I... Hey, Archibald, come here. You've been a narrator before. Um, yes? Us tall folk have to stick together, right? Uh, I, I, um, goodness gracious. Listen, Archibald, if you join my side, I'll let you talk about British literature all you want. In fact, you're always wanting to narrate stories about British literature. Me and you, we'll collab and make something great. Oh, oh, all right, George, I, I'll, I'll, I'll choose your side. But does that mean I'm against Bob? I don't want to be against Archibald. Well, well, it has, has to, to be, be this, this way. way. Oi! I'm not picking sides. I'm neutral. I'll say that right away. Why couldn't, couldn't we have said, said that? that? Oh, oh, Archie. Bob. Listen, Archie. I I'm going to find us a way out of this war. Oh, Bob. Not if I find it first. The rivalry's already begun. The rivalry has already begun? I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. There will be no war on my ship. Eh, I'll give you a piece of the pie. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I like how it sounds. All right. By the way, I've, I've got, got to get, get out, out of, of here. here. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. Hey. Part of the show where... Hey. Uh-oh, hey. uh-oh. You're a narrator, too. Oh, please, I, I don't do such I silly things. I beg to differ. You do lots of silly things. You narrate silly songs. Listen, pick my side. No, pick mine. Pick mine. Pick mine. Oh, I'm out of here. Oh, great. You ran away the narrator. Now we got no narrator for the silly song. Hey. You started it. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. This, this is, is war. Oh, that's okay. I can still sing a Lantar Swift song. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Larry, I don't think you should do that. Who else around here knows how to sing? Oi, we found out that before. That's right. Bob? <laughs> Great. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Bob. The part of the show where Bob comes out and sings a silly song. Uh, Mr. Nizzer, that accordion music you just played was pretty nice. Mind to play it again? Sorry, accordion only plays for the captain. Great. Jimmy, you got anything? No instrumentals. You'll have to sing this one, Arctic Penguin. Arctic Penguin? Arctic Penguin, you know, with no instrumentals. Oh, so just vocals. Uh-huh. Huh. Arctic Penguin. I didn't know that's what it was called, but it makes sense. All right. <clears throat> Here I am on a ship. There's a war going on. They just put me aside to sing this silly song, and so I uh, gotta come up with something really clever. But writing songs is normally not my endeavor. I've really never done it before. I normally say what comes to my mind, and it bores people. It's a bore, yeah. I can't watch people boo my best friend like this. I have to be a good friend. I have to help him. Ahem. I think Penguin is the way to sing when you don't know what to say. When you got no instrumentals, hey, that's good. They don't have to get in your way. You can just throw whatever you want down and sing it for your crowd. And sometimes they'll appreciate it and they'll cheer really loud. Try to sing Arctic Penguin. You won't regret it if you do. That's the term I promise it. I wouldn't like you. So if you hear me singing, then uh, you'll know what's going on. He has no lyrics or instrumentals. It's an Arctic Penguin song. Did somebody say penguin? Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. It's, it's Vigil from 321 Penguin. Penguins. Howdy, Space Cadet. Wait, Wait a, a minute. minute. Vigil doesn't, doesn't say, say howdy. But Vigil does. Vigil? What were you doing inside Vigil? I want that on the t-shirt. Yeah, I know I'm not the narrator, but can I please just say get back to the show and the war? Hey! Kevin. Throw Kevin into the sea. Don't worry, Kevin. I'll get Not if I can leave you first, Vigil. Yeah. 
there. Oh, don't be jealous. What is happening? I'll tell you what's happening. I'm about to save all of you all. I don't want anyone to die. I mean, I may be a big bad boss, but I don't want us all to burn up because of global warming. You all should be thanking me that I'm taking you to this island. I've had bad experiences on islands before. If stay focused. We have to stop Nether from getting to this island. And you have to stay focused on the war, ball. Ugh, listen, British Snoodle, look over there. What do you see? I see lots of stars. Wrong answer. You see Junior Asparagus and Snoodle Doo and Laura Carrot and Callie Flower and Annie Onion and Percy P. All these happy kids. Gary Garlic's even there. Look how peaceful they look. How happy they are. They don't know about war. They don't care about war because it doesn't affect them as far as they know. Why can't we be like that? Why can't we be innocent and happy? Because life doesn't work that way, Bob. And when your motives are challenged, you have to challenge the motives of the challenger. Well, that should be on a t-shirt. Eh? You good, George? Eh? No, I'm not good. And why are you talking to me? You're my cookie enemy. Hey, hey, that's my line. What would you do if you were in that situation? And that's my line. Well, I guess we've reached a uh, compromise. Huh? <laughs> Tomato, come here. Mr. Lunt, what's up? Listen, this is getting out of hand. Uh, I'm starting to question Mr. Nether's motives. It seems a little odd, you know? Him being so chummy and... You know, trying to save everyone? I think it's more about starting a colony. I don't even know if he believes in global warming. I've never seen this guy read the news, but he does make the news a lot. Your point, Mr. Lunt? My point is, we got to get out of here! What are we going to do? We have to create a distraction. Should we sing Look Olaf? No. Should we sing Look Ole Ravioli? No. But listen, Bob, I, I know what to do. I know how to distract everyone in... Get everyone's minds off this crazy war! Listen, you see that over there? They're getting their weapons ready. It's going to get violent! It's going to get scary! I don't want anyone to die! I don't want anyone getting thrown overboard! Aside from Kevin, but who really needs that guy? Your point being? Bob, I am Lantari Swift. <gasps> what?! The, the famous pop star?! Mr. Lunt, I had no idea! Have I been assuming your gender wrong? No, 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 I am Mr. Lunt. When I am Mr. Lunt. But when I am Lantai Swift, I am not Mr. Lunt. I am Mrs. Lantai Swift. Right. Uh, but, 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 I, I just can't believe this. Larry's gonna lose his mind. That's the thing. We don't want Larry to know. He's not really involved with this war. Get Larry below deck. Then I'll tell everyone that I'm Lantai Swift, and it will distract them from the war. Why can't Larry know? He's a fanboy! He'll go crazy! He'll cause more chaos than before! Bob, I'm trying to calm down the chaos! I'm trying to distract from it! Not create more! Alright, uh, I'll get Larry below deck. And, uh, you let everyone know that you're Luntar Swift. Okay! Attention everyone! I am Luntar Swift! Say what? Mr. Lunt, I haven't gotten Larry below deck yet! Oh, God, that was the plan. Sorry, Tomato. <laughs> What's that? What's that? You're kidding me! You're Luntar Swift? Wow! I can't believe it! I'm a big fan of yours! I've been sipping for... Hold on a second... Uh-oh! What's the matter? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, please, somebody throw me overboard! Larry, are you okay? No, Bob, I'm not! Whoa, Larry, you do you want to talk, talk about, about it? it? No, I, I don't want to talk about it! I've been sipping! Sipping for Luntar Swift! And all along it was... <laughs> Mr. Lunt! Oh, you've been simping for me? Oh, you keep your simpy cucumber hands off of my man, man. Larry, I had no idea. No, 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 Bob, it's not what you think. You don't understand. I thought Lantar Swift was a woman. Lantar Swift is a woman, but Mr. Lant is not. Can't you distinguish the two apart? Uh, I thought you just said you were one in the same. Not the chaos and so. I also I you I Junior! Put that down, son! Listen to your dad! Uh, Junior, what are you doing with that? Don't you know what happens when a guy gets hit with anti-gravity spray? It's pretty serious! Uh, Junior, listen. Uh, put down the anti-gravity spray and back away slowly. I don't think I will. I'm done with this chaotic ship. I'm done with this lousy farm. Somewhere beyond the bar. Why did your voice get a semitone deeper? Because the anti-gravity spray. Yeah, that makes sense. Listen, Junior, uh, you're better than this. You don't have to do this. You don't have to be the bad guy. Yeah, Junior. Why don't you understand? I have to be the bad guy. I want to be the bad guy. Be fine, Bofum. I jump on ship. I have fun. Oh, what was that? It would appear that Apollo Gord has become spontaneously airborne and is about to fall onto our ship, thereby crushing it and sinking us to the bottom of the ocean.
Oh boy, that's not good. Uh, that's not good at all! What are we gonna do? Oh heavens! I don't want to think! But if I do think, I want to think with you, Mr. I Bart. never even get a chance to tell Grandma Gordon how I feel! Oh, uh, maybe I did. Uh, thanks again, Vigil. You're the man. Oh, well, thank you, Jimmy. You helped me explain my feelings to Grandmom, and that's what matters. For more information, go listen to Gotta Get That Grandma. The stop, 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 stop. We gotta do something quick. I'll use my sp sp stripey tie to stop this. Oi, maybe we should just play ping pong. You know yeah, what? what? Well, okay. We win at the, the ping, ping pong. pong. We, we get, get the ho-ho and the ding, ding dong. dong. Ding dong. I'm gonna go below ten. I'll come with you, Trevor. Oh, bother. Singing and playing ping pong isn't gonna help. And Dad Asparagus, though your tie would help in a lot of other situations, trust me, it won't help in this one. We gotta do something quick. Maybe I can turn into Larry Boy. Larry, that's your solution for everything. I like the spotlight. So do I. Back off, Jerry! Junior! So and put down that anti-gravity spray right now! I just learned a very valuable lesson! God's given me a gift! And we can't choose the gifts we get, but only what we do with them! And I'm not gonna use this gift for evil, I'm gonna use it for good! Eh! What you gonna do? I don't know, but I'm ready to fight you! Eh! Listen, we're all in trouble if that gourd falls on our ship. We're gonna sink and the war won't matter. Please, British Noodle, we gotta work together. I'll die before I work with now you, Now you sound like my dad. He oh, Junior, he's getting really close to the ship. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit him with the anti-gravity spray so he floats back up instead of crashing. Oopsie, I broke the ship. Well, that's just perfect, because now my evil plan will come into play. I'll lift you up with the spray. Whoa. And drop you again. Junior, stop! You're destroying, destroying the ship! The ship. <laughs> Oof. Um, I keep crashing into the ship. Yes, stop! Oh, yeah. I gotta use my body to plug these holes in the ship, or we're all gonna die! <laughs> oh no, there's too much hole in the ship. I can't plug it all by myself. <laughs> British Doodle, I need your help! What? George, I can't help you. <laughs> Please, British Noodle, you don't understand. We're all gonna die. I, I, I'm slipping. You're slipping? I'm gonna sink into the water. No, George, no. Grab my glove. Hey! I'm dead. I'm, I'm not dead. You saved me, British Noodle. What would you do if you were in that situation? That's what I had to ask myself. I said, what would I do if I were in that situation? And George, I would have wanted you to help me. So I've helped you. I love you, George, and I haven't been fair to you. You're the narrator. You are the original narrator. I was never meant to be a narrator. I'm calling off the war. You can keep your job. I'm done with this fight. Now let's go save this ship. <gasps> I never thought you'd say that to me. British Noodle, I have feelings for you. And I have feelings for you, George. Now let's fix this ship, and then we can fix our relationship. It might take some counseling. But... <laughs> well, that was a long time ago. It most certainly was. Now me and British Noodle have 70 kids of our own. Hey, George Jr. Hey, British Noodle Guy Jr. How's it going? I hope you grow up to be great narrators. Hey. <laughs> wow, that was quite a story, Grandpa George. You're, You're telling, telling me. me. Uh, maybe I should finish the rest of the story, though, since the audience is going to be wondering what happened. Eh, good idea. Bob, you take this one. I'm not going to be selfish with my narration. There's enough narration to go around for everyone. That's what the British Noodle taught me. Eh? Mm, yeah, that's right. Um, Mr. Nether never did go to the island. He never did start a colony. Uh, as it would turn out, he was wrong. Veggie Town wasn't going to burn up, at least not anytime soon. So we all went back home. George and the British Noodle helped to plug the holes on the ship. A lot of us helped to plug the holes. Um... We thought it would work, but in the end our ship crumbled and sank, so we all swam back home. And then we went to Jimmy Gord's house and watched Cubo. And yeah, that was it. You have such a way with word, Bob. You mean words, Larry, not words. You have such a way with lyric, Bob. You mean lyrics, not lyrics. You have such a way with Warner, Bob. You've lost me now. Just think about it, buddy. Just think about it. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today, kids. George, British Noodle, I'm glad that everything's been resolved. Eh, me too. Fighting's no fun. At the end of the day, God wants us to make peace. I think we did a show about that once. I think we did. Thank you guys for being great narrators. We love you. Oh heavens, this has been Narration Wars. Yikes, narrator. Tune in next time to hear George and the British Noodle say... Hey, British Noodle God? Yes, George. Ah! I don't even know what I'd do without you. 
and life wouldn't be the same if I didn't have a friend to narrate with. And I'm glad we got over our feud and didn't end up killing each other. You mean a lot to me. Oh, don't mention it, George. Don't you see your value? Oh, I do, but but without you, well, what would I do without you? Or if I were in that situation? Oh, I don't know, but I should, because I made you that way. Oh, good one. Who would be there to reach out to? Well, you could always reach out to Grandma Gord. I hear she's single. Oh, God! I don't space cadet. If I stumble, I may fall. There be no one there at all to grab my hand, to understand, to help me land back on my feet again. What would I do without you? Well, we're a team. Eh? And I don't know what I would do if we wouldn't, George. You smexy man. What does smexy mean? It means meet me with your mama. <coughs> Mother Fry! Eh? You're so brave. Well, you're so smart. You make me giggle. I love your heart. Hey, George. Hey, British Noodle God. Eh? I guess we need each other on top of everything. What would I do without you? Oh, wow! Well, I guess we'll never know. It didn't make us to be alone. Cause I'm not about to let you go. This song made me grow eyes. It was so beautiful. This song made me lose my eyes, traveling buddy. Now you're me, and I'm you. I'm Lalil, and you're... Uh, uh, never mind. You're the cornflake. I'm the milk. You're the silkworm. Mm, silky silk. Eh? You're the sandal. I'm the stirrup. You're the pancakes. I'm the syrup. I'm the arrow. You're the bow. I'm trying. Oh, I'm the tic tac. You're the toad. I like toads. I like toads a lot. You're the steam. Long live the queen. What would I do without you? You're slipping down the Mississippi, slipping away from me. I grab you close to my heart and say I love you dearly. Eh? Why are you making me sing alone, British Noodle? Why are you making me slap you like this? Oh, I don't mind if you slap me, George. Eh? I'm not in love with you. And I'm not in love with you, fool. You thought I was in love with you. The war still goes on. The war still goes on? Eh? Great happy to hear it. Oh, I'm kidding. War is over. War, War is over, over if you want it. it. Wow, my faith has been restored. By what? By God. He just sang a beautiful song. Bob, that's not God. That's a metaphor. Just like the king from the pirate movie. Huh? What king? The king who's right behind you. Huh? Ah! Good job saving the princess. I'm an asparagus.